はい、えー、キューバさんです。えー、今回も引き続き、バックトゥーザーフューチャーズアゲン、エピソード3、えー、始めたいと思います。えー、前回、えー、ギターバトル的なところで、あの、積んじゃってて、あの、もうニッチも最初も行かなくなったんで、調べてきました。もうこれで一発でクリアしてみたいと思います。えー、ヌルゲーマーでごめんなさい。えー、ジェニファーにトーケン。Yeah? Uh, Leech Leech might think he's got chops, but I invented rock and roll. Ooh, nice axe. Your mommy buy that for you. Again? What can I say? I'm a glutton for punishment. Then ye shall feast. To the victor go the hickeys. こっちとらロックとはウィキがあるんだよ。はい。えー、ここでね、キックなんです。キック、バン。はい。これ、アンプを倒すところが必要なんですね。で、左に動くんです登るですね狙いは良かったんですけどねもう明らかにここおかしいですからねこの台に登るあら降りた<笑>あら降りるのが予想外いやいやいやちょっとちょっと待ってこう降りるのは<笑>想定外でしたえー、っとアンプの方へ戻れるかないや戻った台,台に登る台にもう一回登ってここで本当は登ったまんまになるんだけど降りちゃったねさっきもう許してください許してください降りないで降りない降りないでっつってんのになんで降りんだよええー、ダメだまた積んじゃってるこれええー、向きが変わっちゃったらアンプの方へ戻っちゃうとりあえずアンプに戻ってとアンプに戻ってとでそこでこれで定位置に戻ったんで左に動く動いてちょうだいで左に動いてちょうだいはいじゃあかだかだかだかだはいストップここで台に登ってほしいんだけど台に登って止まってほしいんだけど台に登ってはいそこで止まってちょうだいと止まってでちょうだいと止まっておわ止まったねこれアンプ来たこれえー、これあとジャンプですダダダダダダダンゴンはいマーティン・マクフライ That was that was that was totally awesome おお来たねこれ What can I say? Some guys got it and... <笑>これウィキのおかげなん,なんだよ<笑> You broke my head stock I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. Why are you calling me, Marty? What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Ah, choo, shut the choo. Bello choo, this is a bello choo. エドナーが見えます、エドナー。窓、あこれ窓。窓。チンチンチンチン。窓開けての。あら。フォーレガニズム、デリンクエンシー、オフィサー・パーカー ?I just caught these two degenerates violating statute number Jennifer. Jennifer. 476D。Open mouths and tongues。You've got too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the citizen. What? What? Come on! Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward daughter. Yes, ma'am. 
And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. Shimin Brown, yeah, I need to go. I need to go. Orange Jelly, where are you? Hey, Jennifer. Are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Geez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin, it's Marty. Well, Marty. What's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Oh. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Cool. Is it? Young Mr. McFly is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak. But you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps. The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, Let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, ma'am. It's about time. I always knew your goody two shoes A plus student act was too good to be true. Come in, citizen. Martin McFly, age 18, resident of Sector L, Father George, Mother Lorraine, president of Junior Brown Brigade, recipient of a full ride scholarship to Strickland College, winner of the Courthouse Challenge to Former Award, zero demerits until this morning. The obvious question, Mr. McFly, is. What happened to you? Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doctor, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Martin. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Whatever. Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You'll set me straight? Explain. It's a crazy world you've created. It's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff! It's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes! You went through all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes! A cry for help, as it were. Yes! No way. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? Forget my mother. She's not the issue here. Don't ever forget your mother, Martin. Your parents are your superiors, and respect for one's superiors is absolutely essential to the Hill Valley Order. I'm surprised your father hasn't set you straight on this point. He's shown himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen.
Leave my dad out of it, okay? Let's focus on you and your time machine. Time machine? Yeah. Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Mm. Well, just for the hell of it, I, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know. But it was important for some reason. Fascinating. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because? Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. Hmm... <laughs> Yes, I, I mean, no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time and somehow your timeline got messed up and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other when you were 18. I'm Michael Corleone. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated oh, an alternate reality. This is all right. This is another reality. Do you think I'm crazy? I guess maybe I sound crazy, but... I'm crazy. I guess maybe I sound crazy, but... You gotta believe me. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social conditioning. God, you don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. <laughs> Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your map. Your memory. Shimbolo will help you to find the answer. Symbol? What is that? Einstein's picture. Dog. Tokyo no mado. Monitor. Tokyo. Air ticket. Air ticket. You still got the movie ticket? Indeed, I do. A memento of my first date with Edna. I took her to see The Virtuous Husband. And you never saw Frankenstein. You were supposed to go see Frankenstein that night. It was gonna give you the inspiration you needed to pull off your big demonstration at the Hill Valley Expo. Inspired by Frankenstein? How whimsical. Not to mention historically inaccurate. My dolly wife is all the scientific news I've ever needed. From my successful demonstration at the 31 Expo all the way up to my cutting edge Citizen Plus program. Successful? It was supposed to be a failure. I can't tell if it's a guy celebrating a touchdown or chained up in a gulag. Glass half full, Marty. Half full. Wow, that is cool. The sound, it... Yeah, it's kind of lulling. Uh, right, wait, what was I doing? So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest supporter. After my wife, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Okay, take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog? Harboring dangerous animals is a municipal offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me, but you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do, I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it couldn't have been the same dog. 
wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler too, thanks to your invention. I, uh, bizarre fantasy life. Go on, proceed. It's all the same stuff I saw on my dad's monitors. I think the whole town is under surveillance. Something about that clock looks familiar. Item. Item. Check this out, Doc. It's all your notes about the flux capacitor. Your greatest invention. That can't be my notebook. The handwriting is far too sloppy. It's got my name on it. They couldn't do anything with this. It's got my name on it. They couldn't do anything with this. It's got my name on it. They couldn't do anything with this. Maybe the song will remind you of something. Tell me, Doctor, where are we going this time? Yes, it does. It reminds me why we banned rock and roll. <笑>気にしたの思い出されたもんね。このノートは決めてたと思ったんだけどな。お、新聞、こんなの新聞見せてもいいの? 新聞 I better not. This could be the only printing left in existence. If I'm gonna do anything with this newspaper, I'm gonna recycle it. Look, Doc, I mean, citizen. No, no. Focus outward, not on me. Use the objects in the room as points of reflection. I wish to observe your thought processes. They don't need it. Did you ever actually see Frankenstein? Move on, Mr. McFly. Wow, that is cool. The sound, it... Yeah, it's kind of lulling. Uh, right, wait, what was I doing? What made your dad come around? Move on, Mr. McFly. You just let me talk, I'm sure I can convince you. Fine, fine. But show. Don't tell. Just flip through it once, Doc. It'll explain everything. I prefer to keep our focus on the world around us rather than the artifacts of your constructed fantasy world. But put the book away, Martin. Doc, please. If you take that book out again, Martin, I may be forced to destroy it. Eh, so nani? Setuku sashtai ke do to setuku shara in daro. Hinto, hinto, wakaru kore. Eh, there is some stuff in the office that world. Sari, shari, help. Combines Season Brown. That you are. 
Telling the truth <笑>なんだろうもう一応 Some of the links to the past might not be こうわかんねえな。But they are on or around シチズンブラウンズデスク。シチズンブラウンズデスク。I spy with my little blue eye.Young Emmet and his father a fish dog brown the past. A movie ticket and a mug. ショットオブアインシュタイン・イン・ユア・ケース・ファイルえー、なんかここにあるアイテムのこと言ってんだけどもこれだからどうだっていうの I'm just not getting through to him. I need to get him thinking about his past. 水槽見てないね Hey, this is your fish tank. Yes, that is my fish tank. It looks much better without all the bacteria. What? Edna just had it clean. Yeah, but in 1931 it was full of bacteria that we used to make rocket fuel. Remember? Stop trying to confuse me! My whole life has been dedicated to the practical use of technology to shape a more efficient, orderly society. Ask anyone. It's a fact. You can look it up. But you know better, right? Emmett? I... I... Wrong. Do you see this picture? I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931, the day I single handedly captured Kit Tannen, the scourge of Hill Valley. Single handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edna Strickland, my scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What do you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What? どこにマーティーとドクがいますね。こあ見れる？見れる？こ千九百三十一年の写真だよ。ほらマーティーとドクがいいんじゃないこれ。ほら。It's me and you, the other you. It is me and you. But how? Michael? It's impossible. No, it's science. Your science, Doc. In this other world, the one you say you come from, am I, am I happy there? Very happy. You've got two great sons. Sons? Yes, and a fantastic wife. Not Edna? Not even remotely. And your invention. Jeez, Doc, you can go anywhere you want to, anywhere in time. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. And what about Hill Valley? Hill Valley? You know it's got problems. A little bit of urban decay here, a little bit of crime there. It's a normal city. People are happy, mostly. And even when they're miserable, they're not miserable like they are in your Hill Valley. Stop! There are no miserable people in my Hill Valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe. My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody worries. Nobody complains. Only because they're afraid to. Jeez, open your eyes, will you? You and Hedna have got them all terrorized. That's Mrs. Rao to you, Sonny. Doc, kindly address me as your honor. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to ridding Hill Valley of vice and disorder. And you dare to claim that our citizens are unhappy? Yeah, yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just too afraid to speak up. Afraid? Afraid of what? Afraid of the consequences of their actions, Doc. You run this place like it's a police state. Nonsense. I can prove it. All right then, time travel boy. You do that. And until you do, I'm going to treat your wild story as just that a story told by a madman. And I determine that the best treatment is simply to let the insanity run its course. 
So, is the interview over? Should I leave? Please do. I'm very busy. I've got a city to run. Fine, but I'll be back with proof. するのはなかなか難しいですね。これ自宅に戻ってきましたね。ダークワンズプルーフだ。ヒルヴァリーズのパーフェクトプレイスイ thinks it is。one smoking gun coming up。ダッ。ほら。pop out the tape。son。I think it's done rewinding。whoa whoa。take it easy。sit here。Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidents of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually ah ah. Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. George's の秘密のビデオを探せ George's の秘密のビデオを探すのはまた次回にしたいと思います。とりあえずもうちょっとね、今度は毒とこう会話が長くなっちゃったんで、また次回、えー、引き続きこの先進めたいと思います。まあ、ちょっとね、モニターが壊れているのと、えー、バットがあるのがちょっとあのー、気になるところですが、まあ、ジョージはこけて傷つしたんではなく、多分バットで殴られちゃったんだと思われます。まあ、そのシーンはまた次回。えー進めていって分かることだと思われますということで今回はこの辺にしておきます、えー、また次回よろしくお願いしますではさよなら